Hey guys, what's up? Leaning is back with another video. Today we're going online once again. Yes, because this is super important to make your life much more convenient and comfortable in China. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, today we're going to talk about how to set up an Alipay account and start shopping on Taobao. It's actually pretty simple. One great thing is that Alipay, also called Zhufobao in Chinese, um, is in English. So you download Alipay to your phone and you sign up. The thing is that you cannot use Alipay unless you um, connect it to a working bank account. So if you don't have a bank account in China yet, take your passport, go down to a nearby bank of your choice or if you're in a school then ask them which one they recommend because they usually have one they work with and those people in that bank is usually used to foreigners who can't speak Chinese so if your Chinese is not great then you can go there and set up a bank account. So when you set up a bank account in China, they will give you, uh, they will write your name, and uh, that name is very, very important because if you want to go online and start using your bank account uh, online for shopping and da 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 da, then you need to have the exact name. What? And it doesn't matter what your name is; it matters how they in the bank wrote your name. Okay, so as an example for me, my name is Lena Lesson Ilsbo, right? So three names. But in the bank account it's written Ilsbo, my surname first, then my first name and then my middle name. Yeah, so I had to write it like that and then it was no problem when I was signing up for Alipay. <clears throat> so first go and get a bank account. Remember what name did they write? for your bank account when you sign up and then you go and download Alipay and you sign up with Alipay and get your bank account connected. Super convenient, super easy. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. The second step is to go into your app store and find Taobao. So the thing is I cannot find Taobao in English. So I'm sorry for that. The Taobao, well, yeah, I didn't find it on the website either, but like when you download it to your phone, Taobao is in Chinese. So you can practice a little bit of Chinese on that one. Uh, what you have to do is you, of course, download Taobao and then you sign up, make, a bank, uh, Bush bank, make an account. <laughs> uh, you make an account on Taobao. <clears throat> After that, you go into that account and you link. Alipay and your Taobao account to each other. I wanted to show you guys how I did it, but it's such a long time ago, so I cannot show you unless I want to sign out and create a new account. I tried to ask my friends who don't speak Chinese or speak very little Chinese, and they said it's super convenient. And also remember, if you don't speak enough Chinese to or read enough Chinese to do this, just ask a Chinese friend. It will literally take you two minutes. And after you have set up the bank account information, it's good. Like you don't need more than that. So it's actually super convenient. <clears throat> okay, so after signing up Taobao, make an account, then, and linking Alipay and Taobao together, then you're actually almost good to go. There is one more step, very important. You have to go into Taobao and write your Chinese address, your Chinese name, and your Chinese phone number. If you're writing a foreign name, I'm not sure they can find you. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible. I haven't tried that before. I know that my friends here, they use Chinese names. So for me, I write Li Ling Na. I write my Chinese phone number and I write my address. If you're at a university, you write the university address and which station, Kuai Di station, you're going to to pick up your clothes or your things, the things you bought on Taobao. Super convenient. Then they will the Kwaidi, the guy who comes with all the packages, he will go to that station, leave the stuff there, you receive a text message with a, a password and then you go there and click, 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 click for letter for numbers and then bam, you can get your stuff. But yeah, if you don't have a Chinese name, get a Chinese name and get started. Also, if you don't know how to write the address uh, from where you're staying, well, then just ask a friend. And again, if you 
write your exact address and Kreidi can come to your door. Be prepared that he's going to call you and tell you, I'm here now and if you're not here, I will leave again and then you have to be there the next time he comes. So if you don't want to talk to Kreidi, it's a good idea to find the nearest Kreidi station from you and then just tell them to send your stuff there because then you can also go and pick it up whenever you feel like and not only when he arrives at the door, if that makes sense, yes. So after putting in your address, your phone number, your name, everything, you can start searching, you can start shopping online with Taobao and uh, Yay, have fun and don't go crazy or only go crazy if you have enough money for that. <laughs> I make a private bit a budget for Taobao every week uh, or else I go over shopping. So yeah, it's a bad habit, <laughs> but it's a fun habit. So anyway, I hope you guys will have fun with Taobao. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll try my best to answer them. As I said before, if your Chinese is not good enough for signing up these things, then just ask a Chinese friend's friend. Um, they're always so helpful and uh, I think they just think it would be very funny to help you sign up for Taobao because they probably love it as much as you're going to love it too. So without further ado, I'll just say good luck and have fun and thank you for watching i hope you learned a little bit and i hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you again very very soon ling ling is out see ya and zai jian bye bye